So when you're sanding through your grit sequences on your floor, you think that basically every grit is still going to be doing something visible on your floor, but it doesn't. By the time you get through 36 grit, you shouldn't have any finish left on the floor. It doesn't mean you're done, but it means the floor is essentially naked. And for the next two grits, you're just sanding and making the floor smooth. But that can be really hard because you've taken all the finish off. So you've got no tracer. You've got no way always of knowing exactly where you've been. And it's fairly easy to follow with a drum sander. You're fairly disciplined. But when you're running an edger, sometimes you need to know where you have been. Because I don't want you to over edge. I don't want you to under edge. I don't want you to skip. So I cheat. When I'm, when I'm going to be beginning my 60 grit pass and again my 80 grit pass, I create a series of pencil lines around the room. I want to make sure I come a foot and a half or so into the floor. So as the drum sander comes along, she'll erase you know, whatever she touches and leave behind exactly where I finished. And when I come back through with my edger, I'll know exactly where I've got to start to make sure I don't skip anything. And even more importantly, if I am running an edger and I'm trying to go over a pencil line or remove it and it doesn't remove, change the paper on your edger. Your edger should be able to rip through a pencil line with nothing, with just looking at it. So it gives you two things. It tells you where you've been, doesn't let you skip anything, and it makes sure your paper is always sharp, which means it's cutting out the swirl that came before it.